return to chicken and curds today. It's been a bit of a break that we've had to take. Yeah. But glad we're back. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> we know you're getting your two favorite foods. This episode is about two of Milwaukee's most quintessential diners. Mm -hmm. First, we're gonna take you to a spot we went to a few months ago, Ma Fisher's on Milwaukee's East Side. And then after that, it is... George Webb. And by the way, they do have a guarantee. If the Brewers ever win 12 consecutive games, yep. free burgers! Woo! 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 We are on Farwell Avenue on Milwaukee's east side. This place has been around for 88 years. Wow. Ma Fisher's is a place that is an overnight hangout. It's open 24 hours a day. And it's sort of the diner of Milwaukee's east side. Now, this place is an east side tradition. And we've had so many times when I come here just with friends for breakfast or with family members, just for a meal, their breakfasts are out of this world, certainly. We're obviously just trying the chicken tenders and the cheese curds, but there is so much more to this place. It's one of those traditional diners that is the anchor of a neighborhood, as it is here on the east side. Now, as you can guess, in this part of the neighborhood, there are a lot of bars and restaurants that yes. are open until really, 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 really late at night. That's why this place stays open. At, at about 3 o'clock in the morning, this place is bustling busy. Now, I've never been here for one of those three o'clock late night uh, sessions after going out and drinking. Yes, I have. Shall we dig in? Sure. All right. Let's see which one is hot. Mm -hmm. All right, this is less hot. So okay. I'm gonna go with this. Oh, let me just pat it on. You can hear that crunch. Yeah, you would hear the crunch. Um, I'll try to get some ketchup. Ketchup is a requirement as always. And here's the nose. <laughs> Almost the Summerfest logo. <laughs> Oh, I like it. Mm. This definitely does have the thicker breading that little guy likes. I tend to like like more of the light, lighter type of breading, like what you'll see at so many different sort of artisan cheese group places like Pizza Man that really dives into a lot with it and tries to have a, a lighter fare to it. But this certainly does hit in the comfort food level. Chicken tenders. Yes. Same type of thing as you get with the cheese curds, thicker bread. Yeah. What do you sense about the taste specifically? Very, the cheese has a great taste. With the chicken tender, the bread has a nice touch to it. And the curd itself does have the capability to melt when it's being fried. It looks as if it's some sort of cheddar curd, not necessarily a white cheddar. Some more traditional. Um, what do we have a lot of chicken tender rankings so far? Let's see. Right now, Culver's is number one at 100. 85. 85? Why is it 85? Um, it doesn't quite beat hilly, Hillbilly Hot Dogs. Which is a 90. Which is a 90. So I give it the 85 because it's not quite Hillbilly, but it's really a really crispy tender that has, that's just really, really good. Now, when we go to the cheese curds, mm -hmm. whew, those cheese curds are pretty good. Uh, okay, again, heavy bread, which you prefer. Yes, I'm gonna give it, oof, 96. Wow, I think only Saz's 
and Culver's top it so far. I think there's one other, but I don't know who. No, I don't think so. Okay. So this is number three on the list so far. Just like Ma Fisher's is for the east side, George Webb's is the quintessential Milwaukee diner for the entire area of southeastern Wisconsin. There are countless locations across the area. They're known for their burgers, certainly. They're known for their famous chili. Of course, the kids got to get the chicken tender and cheese curds. about to enjoy a Milwaukee tradition. Let's mm -hmm. open up the curds. Sacred curds. Let's see how to open up, up the thing. There we go. Starting with one curd. Mm -hmm. Mmm. Ooh, crispy. Good. That is part of your formula of what makes a good curd. Mm. What's on the inside? Can you Some tell nice, what nice mozzarella. Excellent. They do offer mozzarella sticks as well, so it's mm -hmm. pretty much along the lines of what they normally do. How many tenders are in this? One, two, three, four. So your average four-piece tender. Some places will have a three, some will have a two, some will have a four. We found one that's got five, just chill hot dogs, right? Yeah, which is a plus. <laughs> always love to see some five tenders in a package instead of the four. I mean, that's, that's two meals for you. Exactly. We actually have one big tender. I think it was actually supposed to be two because you can see right there. But I guess they got stuck together when they made them. King Kong tender. That curly tender. Okay. Mmm, good. Nice. What do you notice about it? Good amount of crispiness. Yeah, that's soft but crispy. I notice the tenders have a decent amount of pepper on it. Do Advantage I or disadvantage for you? I couldn't taste it. Okay. I couldn't really taste that pepper. So just seasoning, not necessarily spicy. Yeah, I'm not. Let me try it again to see if I can taste the heat. It's there. Okay. But not too much? Mm -mm. Good. Less spicy than Miller Park tenders, that's for sure. I'm going to give the curds a review myself. I see where he gets that crispiness, which he loves so much. It is very crispy off the bat. It's not a light batter which is what I tend to go for more when it comes to cheese curds. But you also don't lose the taste of the curd. You get a lot of the squeakiness out of it as well, which is one of the requirements, really, if you want a good cheese curd, at least in my book, to feel the squeak and to get the taste. The taste is not supremely strong. There's not as much of a taste of the cheese itself as there is the crispiness. For the kid, he loves it. I tend to go for more of the artisanal cheese curds, but this kid is enjoying this. Give the chicken review myself here. Let's see how it goes. This is very simple. It doesn't have a huge amount of breading. There's a little bit of that pepper, but it's a very simple recipe. The chicken itself is outstanding quality. So I put it to above average, certainly. Certainly an above average chicken tender. But I'm going more for their burgers. This is why you go to George Webb's. The burgers. Let's give this a whirl. Good, solid burger. All right, let's start off first with the chicken tenders. Uh, tender, standard tender, we'll go 70. 70 out of 100? Yeah, above average, not way up here, but it's not at average or way lower. Okay. And the cheese curds, you got some big ones waiting for you. Those are some really good curds. Oof, 85. Nice. 
That high, high ranking. ranking. Yeah, we'll have to come. We'll have to go back to George Webb's soon. Our tour of two of Milwaukee's top diners and their chicken and curds are done. We have many more places that we plan to take you. Okay. We'll be doing it socially and physically distant to protect this little buddy and myself and everybody else. Yep. But our series is back. We will still also be giving you some game plan mm -hmm. videos for where we hope to go on our Brewers road trips. Until yeah. then, and catch all the stuff. Like, share, subscribe, hit the bell, check the description. We'll have some cool links there. And go Brewers. Someday. <laughs> Baseball will be back someday. Until then, what shall we say? Take us with a euchre. So long from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Ladies and gentlemen, we have an emergency in Lake Ketchup. There's more ketchup there than there are cheese curds. Not cheese curds and tenders combined. <laughs> this is why you go to George Webb's. Five burgers for five bucks if the Brewers score five or more runs today. If the Brewers score more than five runs or five runs today, five burgers for five bucks at George Whips. Our little euchre. I'm not little euchre. <laughs>